Hello and welcome to my video. Um, sorry it's a bit dark, this hotel room isn't the best lighting for making my video. Uh, I'm here in Milton Keynes following day one of Collectomania, I think we're on number 17 now. Um, and here's who I met today. First up was Nick Moran, who was in Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels. He directed the film Telstar about Joe Meek. He's in the latest Harry Potter leading with people who are out chasing down the wizards. Um, really nice man, very down-to-earth, chatty, yeah, liked him a lot. Uh, this is the photo he signed. And this is me with him. Next was Christopher Ryan, who was Mike in The Young Ones and plays um, the Chief of the Santarans in the newest Doctor Who's. Um, very nice. Uh, again, exactly as I sort of expected him to be. Um, I asked him if he was going to be appearing in, and there's a spoiler here, so you might want to go la 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 for a second, um, in next week's Doctor Who because it's been announced that the Santarans are coming back um, and he knew nothing about it, um, which was a bit embarrassing, but he laughed it off, so, yeah. Um, as you'll see in a second, one of his co-stars from The Young Ones was also there, and we'll talk about him in a minute, but this is the photo that he signed. And this is me with him. Next I met Jill Curzon, who was in the second Doctor Who movie, um, Daleks Invasion Earth. Didn't really chat with her much, I was more just getting her for the collection rather than wanting to meet her, but she seemed very nice. Um, this is a photo that she signed. And this is me with her. Next was the second young one, who was Mr Nigel Planer. Uh, very nice, we were chatting about the weather, as you do when you're in a cold and blurry stadium with Milton Keynes. Uh, he added his signature to the young one's photo, and this is it. And this is a photo of me with him. So now I'm just praying that showmasters get Rick and Aid to complete the photo. Next I met Jason Watkins. Um, Jason's been in loads of things, um, being human, possibly his biggest role. Uh, he's in the current series of Psychoville as the owner of Hoity Toities. Um, he was in Brilliant Funland. He's been in loads of things. He's a fantastic actor and he's a bloody nice bloke. We had a nice little chat about Psychoville and Funland. Um, this is a photo that he signed for me. And this is a photo I had with him. Next I met lovely Helen Atkinson Wood. Um, Helen played Mrs Miggins in Blackadder and was one of the regular cast and I believe writers of KYTV which is mainly what we chatted about. Um, apparently she's spending the weekend with Angus Deaton and Philip Pope from KYTV. Uh, really nice, really friendly, really warm. Well, she wasn't warm, she was freezing cold, but... Um, yeah, lovely person. This is the photo she signed. And I actually had two photos with her, for some reason the crew member decided to take a second, but I wasn't going to argue. Um, personally I prefer the first one, but here they are. Last up for today was Dean Lennox Kelly. Um, Dean was far busier than I think Showmasters anticipated. I had a big queue most of the day. Luckily I managed to grab him just as he came back from his lunch break, so I didn't have to queue too long. Um, 
He admitted he had imbibed a little alcohol in his lunch, but not enough to make him silly. But um, he did have to ask me, I think it was four times, whether I was Martin with an I or a Y. But we got there in the end. Um, really nice bloke, exactly as I expected him to be. Uh, this is a photo that he signed for me. with a nice little inscription instead of all the best, all the hairy chest. Um, on all the Doctor Who photos he was signing, he changed how he described the character. Um, person before me, he just put WS. One before that, he put Will. On mine, as you can see, he put W Shakespeare. Um, and this photo of me with him. And that was it for today. A um, few people tomorrow, looks like one of them's dropped out, but the one I'm most looking forward to is Alex Kingston. Um, but I'll tell you more about that on tomorrow's little section. Ahoy hoy! Um, here we are after day two of Collectomania 17. Uh, first of all, a couple of people stopped me today and said they watched this rubbish. So hello to them and thank you for watching. Um, who did I meet today? First off, I met Alex Kingston. Ah, Alex Kingston. Um, been a big fan of hers for years, ever since um, Mole Flanders through Bodicea and Essex Boys and Croupier and all sorts of things. And now, of course, there's River Song in Doctor Who. Um, she was lovely, very busy. Um, they were rushing people through, but had time just to say hello and tell her how much of a fan I was and she kept making eye contact and thanking me. Um, she signed two photos for me, one of which, as you can see, she wrote, Hello Sweetie. And the other spoilers. Um, because she was so busy, they weren't doing any photos, I managed to grab a couple in the queue, here they are. But I wasn't overly bothered because I had a photo shoot with her and um, I'll tell you about that in a second. Um, I was quite lucky really, I got there about half eight when it was starting at ten and I managed to get ticket number 52 for Alex. Um, later on in the day I, she was doing no personalisations, no photos at all and from a queue even. Um, so I was glad to get there nice and early and get her. Next I got Robert Patrick, who was the T-1000 in Terminator 2, and has been in various other things as well. Um, very nice man, asked him if he was enjoying his weekend, he said he was, it was nice to feel appreciated. Um, this is a photo he signed for me. Again, he wasn't having any photos in the post photos, but I managed to grab one in the queue. Then I picked up my Alex Kingston photo shoot. The actual shoot was um, usual, quick, in, smile, one, two, out. Um, but I said hello as I approached her. She said hello again, so she obviously remembered me, um, even though I'd taken my jacket off, which was nice. Um, and I got to hug Alex Kingston, which can't be bad. Um, it's actually one of my favourite of all the photo shoots I've had, and here's a scan of it. Next two I met were, um, first of all, John Chalice, Boise from Only Fools and Horses, and he was also in Doctor Who and various other things. He was, and this is fast becoming my catchphrase, exactly how I expected him to be, uh, quick-witted, making jokes, very pleasant. This is a photo he signed for me. And here's my photo with him. And finally for today was Roger Lloyd Pack, aka Trigger from Rainfalls and Horses and Lumas in Doctor Who and 
Barty Snitch Senior, I think that's his character name, and Harry Potter, and Vicar of Dibley, I can't remember his character name, but you all know who he is anyway. Um, he's quiet, but very pleasant, um, a little bit surly, but I think that's just his way. Uh, this is photo he signed for me. And this is my photo with him. And that was it for today. Um, mainly a sporting day tomorrow. I'll tell you more about that after I've got home tomorrow. Hello. So it's Monday night. Um, as you can see, I'm back home. And uh, here's how today went. The only non-sports person I met was Stuart Milligan, who recently played Richard Nixon in Doctor Who. Um, very nice man. Not overly chatty, but yeah, fine, lovely to meet. Um, this is photo he signed for me. And this is me with him. Then um, it was a reunion of the 1984 Tottenham Hotspur UEFA Cup winning team. As a Spurs fan, I was... Looking forward to meeting the players. Um, I won't go through them all individually, but they're all very nice. Um, I'll put a little caption on tell you who each one was. I also met another Spurs player who was there, not as part of the reunion, and that was Paul Walsh. Um, not as I expected him to be. I expected him to be a bit more chatty and friendly. He was fine, but he just seemed a bit shy. Um, he quickly signed my photo, and in the rush, I forgot to ask him to personalise it. But here is the photo he signed. And here's a picture of me with him. And then I met two snooker stars, um, first of all John Parrott, who was exactly as he comes across on telly, um, was keen to make sure that I checked for the photo that was taken of me with him was fine, uh, his signed photo. And the picture. And finally Ken Doherty. Um, it was very nice, we had a little chat about the game, um, and here's a photo he signed. And picture of me with him. All in all, good weekend. Next one is going to be the Manic Karen Gillan Fest of London. Bye.